It's that moment again. The one you dream of every night. La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite. Of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Les sacrifices que tu fais. Quand toutes les chances sont contre toi. When you can't push one more second. Chase the glory. Viseo. Sports on CBC, presented by Les Championnats Usport à Radio Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fettner. Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 Usports Coach of the Year Award program. Fier partenaire des prix de l'entraîneur de l'année Usport. Veraburn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du sport universitaire depuis 1979. Bear, an exclusive supplier of U Sports championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des bagues du championnat U Sport. By Bell, presenting partner of this U Sports championship. Fier partenaire de ce championnat U Sport. And by Protocase, proud title partner of the 2023 U Sports Men's Soccer Championship. Et par Protocase, fier partenaire en titre du championnat de soccer masculin U Sport de 2023. Welcome to the 2023 Protocase U Sports Men's Soccer Championships presented by Bell. Cape Breton University honors and acknowledges that we are located in Mi'kmaq, the ancestral and traditional lands of the Mi'kmaq people. We are all treaty people. This men's quarterfinal soccer game features Les Carabins de l'Université de Montréal and the Carleton University Ravens. Starting with the Carlton University Ravens, numero 23, number 23, Tyler David. Numero 2, number 2, Rafael Garcia. Numero 5, number 5, Moses Caffaro. Numero 2, number 12, Tarek Hamad. Numero 7, number 7, Kevin Kaba. Numero six, number six, Omar Darwish. Numero Vendayon, number 21, Caden Tomey. Numero eight, number eight, Luca Piccioli. Numero eight, number 11, Eric Yuseki. 
New World this week, number 18, Danny Asa. New World this week, number 19, Amadou Kony. With head coach Marcelo Plada. Now Lake Caravan de l'Université de Montréal. Numero 26, number 26, Jordan Teaser. Numero 2, number 2, Antoine Leonard Benoit. Numero 3, number 3, Karim So. Numero 25, number 25, Paul Mortas. Numero 9, number 9, Adam Ben Musa. Numero 10, number 10, Quentin Pomier. Numero 11, number 11, Lohan Lafave. Numero 13, number 13, Theo Oberhuber Poulain. Numero 16, number 16, Sebastian Cabuzzi. Numero 22, number 22, Salim Aliassi. Numero 25, number 25, Olivier Danjou. And head coach, Pat Raimondo. Our officials for today's game are Ryan Schwenger, Ray Boulel, Brad Dobro, and Mario Al Ayas. Now we'll please ask you to rise and remove your hats for the. From one small building in downtown Sydney offering eight courses to one of Atlantic Canada's most innovative and vibrant universities. No matter where you started or where you finished, you are all part of CBU's alumni family and making a difference across the globe. And as alumni, we are proud, we persevere, and we never forget our roots. Together, we are always orange. Sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visit the shop.usports.ca to profit of the promotion of the semaine of the collection Nike Team. Welcome to the Proto K Shoe Sports Men's Soccer Championship presented by Bell on CBC. I'm Corey LeBlanc along with Bert Sears. It's quarterfinal Thursday here at the National Championship. Our first quarterfinal of the day featuring the sixth seed and RSEQ runners up the Montreal Montreal Caravan and the third seed and Ontario University Association champion Carlton Ravens. So it should be a great matchup, Bert, to at least on paper, seemingly evenly matched teams here in our first quarter final. Yes, Carlton had a fantastic season, high flying. They started the season nine and oh, 
They scored 38 goals in the regular season and they defeated the York Lions in the final 3-1 and they, they were impressive. For Montreal, 9-0-3, 26 goals scored versus nine against. They lost in, a, in an upset to the UQTR and uh, in the final, and we'll get to the uh, bracket, excuse me. And that was a quick look of our bracket for today. Again, our four quarterfinals. The first one here, there you see Carlton under their head coach, Marcelo Plata. Again, the OUA champions, as Bart mentioned, a high-flying scoring attack and go against the Montreal Carabin. And they were upset, as Bart mentioned, in the RSEQ final by Trois Rivière. So they probably dropped them. Actually, three of four of these quarterfinals will feature, I guess, upset seeding of sorts with the only conference where the favorite or the number one seed won the title are these Carlton Ravens. And there you get a look at the caravan in their blue and white trim, getting ready to go, both teams in their final huddles. The caravan, again, in their blue and white. The Ravens will be in their white and black are starting goaltenders for the Caravan. Jordan Teaser will get the nod, and for the Ravens, it's Tyler David. Yes, and we should, this will be a repeat of the 2021 U Sports Final, in which Montreal emerged victorious in penalty kicks and considered one of the, the best games of all time. And we'll look to see some champagne soccer here this morning, Corey, with two highly skilled, highly potent offenses. So the b both back lines will have their work cut out for them this morning. So the weather's cleared off a little bit, a little uh, overcast and gloomy here. It's damp but mild for this time of year on November the 9th in Eastern Canada to have no snow on the ground. First is the feet. And again, we're about ready to go here. Carlton will have the first possession of our first quarter final. So start of a great day of soccer here at Ness Timmins Field on the campus of Cape Breton University in Sydney, Nova Scotia. And it's all for a shot Sunday at the gold medal in a national championship. Carlton has never won a national title. Le Carabin have two to their credit, and that's for a fairly young program when you really look at it. So they've had some great success, and now we have a delay of some sort here. Carlton's going to take a chance to huddle again and go over some final. Yes, and it's not too breezy in, in Sydney in the past. It's, it has affected the, the flow of the game. A little bit cool, yes, but all players would be, would expect and be used to play in, in weather of, of this nature. Well, really, at this time of year, the only place you may get um, markedly better weather will be on the West Coast. So, yes. as they get all the teams, there's a referee, Ryan Schwenger. The Lions people are Brad Dobro and Ray Belial. And our fourth official is Mario Alias. like getting the Carlton keeper, David, to remove that towel he had hanging from the mesh. We're underway here in Sydney. First touch for the Ravens. Heavy first touch there, but they're back in control. That's Kafira. And it'll be a quick caravan throw in here. Yeah, both teams will be looking to get uh, first some good first touches early on, get comfortable on the ball, get used to the surface. On the turf here in Sydney, so certainly what most programs now are used to playing on, so that'll be nothing new. And now some room for the caravan. Carlton laying back here early, but now making a charge as Asef, trying to cause a turnover. Caravan again, the RSEQ runners up. And now patiently on their back line, they look to 
get to the offense. Danju on the back line there. Pamiya. And up front is Asef keeping an eye on them. Now going for the long ball, but the first touch will go to the Ravens. Headed away smartly, but Le Caravan take over. And now a battle in the back there between Kaba, and he's being pursued by Lefebvre. So it looks like Kaba adjusting the headband, and there you get a look at one of the caravan, or pardon me, Carlton stairs, that's Tarek Ahmad. So it'll be a throw in here, deep corner for Kaba. Snaps it ahead, first touch, battle off the header. Caravan trying to box in the Ravens. Plenty of heads on that one, it squirts loose, and now a chance for Le Caravan to reload. Danju finds Saul. And now into the middle looking to send Bumuse. And Musa now back to his back line. There's Sol, along with Danju. Danju putting it to the corner flag, trying to track it down as Benoit stays in, but Carlton able to take over now Kaba and Benoit. And they're gonna blow down Benoit for her first infraction of the morning. And Montreal with the the, the share, the early share of possession. Carlton very well organized defensively and Morial looking to go long twice thus far. You can see the wind ruffling a little bit. Again, we'll keep an eye on that in this stadium. Sometimes as Bart mentioned, it can be a factor that dictates, a, I guess, a style change, if you will, for teams whether it be at their back or in their face. Hamad up the field, but again, the caravan. Most of the early action in the Carlton end. There's Cobb again, he's been busy. Over to Kafiro. Now Kaba. Blocked there now, Kabuzi. But it'll be a Carlton throw in. Good work there by Kabuzi. And there you get a look at Loan Lafave of the Caravan. Now away with it. Come the Ravens. Some room here for Garcia. Lays it off. And now in the middle, some room for Piccioli, the leading scorer. Fourth in the nation in points with 13, nine goals on the season. Kafiro. Hamad lays it off. Some more control here by the Ravens now, four minutes or so into this one. Good composed press by Morial. Carlton on the ball, yes, but most of it in their own half. Kaba. Spins away from Lefebvre. Hamada now Kefiro. Carlton back line has been busy here early on. Looking to get their offense going and test teaser. Kaba intercepted, banged right back in. Hamad up to head it. But now a chance in the middle for Le Carabang, that was Kabuzi. Back for Danju. Yes, great first touch by Kabuzi. So now. With some room here. So being watched there by Asef. Left footer there by Bambusa. Alice offside. He's been an important player for Montreal this year. Comes up in the big games. 
First Husk for T. Sir Hill put it down for Donju. Then Musa lays it off there. For Pomine. Now the Ravens run down the far wing, crossed. Battle there. And they're going to get the call as going down was Benoit. And they're going to get Kone. And here's the replay of that one. Our first real cross of the afternoon. That was Yoseki trying to find Kone. And he gets called for hauling down Benoit in the battle for the ball. It'll go back now. And there's Danjou. Benoit, lovely ball there to send in Lefebvre. Lefebvre, good work for Kaba. Yes, Kaba has, to, has been busy. Very good marking. And with the full box this game, as things tighten up, they'll, they'll likely need to come in, support the midfield players, provide a, an outlet. And on that, that previous attack by, by Carlton, it was number 18, Danny Asaf. He's a great target man. And we'll look to see if if they if the midfielders look to play some balls in and he can hold that ball up to create some space for his other for his teammates. Off the throw in the head and away by the Ravens now, the caravan. Look for a seam here. Donju. Keeps it short and on the deck in the middle to Bambusa. Now on the far side, Ben Musa, back to Seoul. Seoul will have a look. A little heavy on the first touch, but able to recover was Pomie. Danjou, to that corner flag, looking for Benoit, and Benoit and Kaba get tangled up. So Kaba has been busy here earlier. There you get a good look. Yes, interesting style here for, for Montreal early on. Looking primarily to go through the middle, but uh, when that's not working, try, trying on, on the flanks to perhaps create some, some, some space between the midfielders and the defenders for Carlton. In the caravan, most of the play early on has been in the Carlton end, and there's first real touch for Tyler Davis. He'll leave it there for Hamad, and that call is going to go against Poulain. So Carlton doesn't waste any time right to it. There's Kafiro. Poked ahead. Good aggressive play there in the middle by the Ravens and now Teaser. Getting a piece of it there and that was all was I Lassi. Now back the other way, some room to get loose. Kone in and he goes down. Soul with the defensive play, and then Soul bang it out. But Carlton right back to it now. Looking to get uncoiled after that good run by Kone. Piccioli. Caba. Another look for Kone. Kone. Nice ball up top, tried to feather it through. It was Piccioli. But now the caravan answer. Ravens starting to get uncoiled a little bit offensively and now. Kaba. That ball oh, trying to send Asaf away and here's that play Kone 
Benoit pursuit and then coming to help with Saul and made the good play. Definitely got the ball before yes. Kone great, flipped over. Great positioning as he was as he was coming back. Saul being harassed there. Good hard work by Tommy. Ravens take over. Don't forget you can watch live on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca from November 9th to 12th. The Women's U Sports Soccer Championship in Kingston, Ontario. You can see all the action on usports.ca. David booms it out. Scoreless here in her first 12 minutes. Quarterfinal Thursday at Nationals. The 3-6 matchup. The sixth seed at Montreal Caravan and the third seed and OUA champion Carlton Ravens looking for their first national championship. Montreal has two under their belt. Long ball getting ahead on it first, but David will come out to gather it up. Good effort there by Lefebvre. And thus far, these teams looked evenly matched. We see number excuse me, number eight for Carlton Piccioli, who has a wonderful boot, but he's displayed a couple of soft touches. Uh, the, the little pass earlier into the box was an example of his, of his skill on the ball. Carlton now off to the races, looking to get on the scoreboard here. Scramble just at the top of the 18 air box, but Carlton gets it back. Good work there by Tomey. And then they're going to get the call. So a free kick opportunity. That's going to go against the captain. And now a referee having to chop the Aliasi. So a free kick here coming as the players jockey for position. Traffic being guided by Teaser as you get the goal. Cam look there, Teaser. Over the ball is Garcia, along with Piccioli. Nine goal man this season. Piccioli into the box, headed away. Good strong work there by Bambusa. And a nice strike from, from distance from Piccioli. He scored on a free, free kick in the OUA final from just maybe about five, five yards ahead of that, but did, uh, did earn the corner here. As you see, bunched up there, Carabank guarding their two posts. Kept on the deck. Piccioli, able to track it down. Smartly there was Darwish. Darwish in a battle. Good defensive work there by Danju. Yes, absolutely crucial for both teams, for every team here this weekend, not to concede corner kicks. Be a deep throw in here for the Ravens after moments ago they had the free kick and then the corner kick but couldn't come up with any, so it's going to be Hamad on the throw in here. About 15, 16 minutes into this one from Ness Timmons Field at Cape Breton University. Of course, the Capers, the host team for this, the AUS runners up. We'll see them in action at 4 p.m. local time when they go up against UQTR, the Patriot. Hamad, Kaba. Tripped up, or say play on. So it seemed like both teams were ready to stop for the whistle there. It didn't come as Kabuzi and Kaba got tangled up. So early possession, zone possession, especially the Caravan, but it's definitely even off more. Really, the best true offensive chances have come 
in the latter moments for the Ravens. Saul Kabuzi. Good move there by Ben Musa. Now puts it back for Mortas. Ben Musi. Danjou. Pomia. Patient Caravan side now. As they're looking for a dent, a crevice in this Ravens D. Steadily gain yardage here now into the Raven zone. Ben Musa lays it up there for Mortas. Should be some room here for Danjou, but he goes with the long ball, trying to send his man in, but a spinning header attempt by Poulin didn't work. And now David makes the save. Good passage of play for for Montreal. Some nice one touch passing. Play on says the referee. Slow back to his feet and that could be Piccioli for the Ravens. Their scoring star came up gingerly and then a sliding play there by Lefebvre. And there's a look at Antoine Benoit. And on the, on the last passage, we, we saw number 16, Sebastian Cabuzzi for Montreal, Montreal, recognizing where the space is, and there's not a lot out there, Corey, and trusting himself to get on the ball and make a, make a nice play. Ben Musa, and he's going to get calls for, so a <laughs> tough last minute or so for Piccioli, who's donning the gloves today. Number eight, it'll be another free kick, and it'll be a yellow card as well for Adam Ben Musa. So we'll keep an eye on that as the Caravan debate the call, at least the carding involved with the call, and now Piccioli. Again, nine goals for the high scoring Ravens. Over the ball with him as well as Garcia once again, Piccioli. Into about the 10 yards, and then it's Ben Musa heading it away, but a second. Yes. Just a reminder you can watch the U Sports Cross Country Championships taking place in London, Ontario. All the action live on CBC Gem and CBC Sports.ca. On, Saturday, on Sunday, pardon me, November 12th. It's a key here for Montreal. Could have to defend for two or three phases. Be clean. It's a good clearance. Poked free and now trying to chase it down. Lefebvre smartly. It's Kaba. Ben Musa. Lays it off so. So and Ben Musa. Just inside the Raven end of the field. 20 minutes into this one, our first quarter final of four today here at Ness Timmons Field. Trying to wriggle free there, Aliasi. And now Benoit. Benoit. Poked off his foot. Good play by Kone. And another fine defensive effort there by Darwish as he was up against Pomie. And now the Ravens look to counter. Oh, and that ball. Big play there by Mortas. Or that might have been off to the races.
for the Ravens. So now, Lake Carabin play on. Great defending by Darwish. Ben Musa. Kabuzi. Now in the back, Donju and Saul. Kabuzi and caught his own man, but then took a caravan bounce. And now Lefebvre. Lefebvre hurdling the tackler. Lefebvre still batting, lays it off to Ben Musa. Now some room for Pomier and the soft header. And David able to make the save. Pomie, the left foot, the captain. And the pool and a soft header that's easily handled by David. Settling in here now, but about midway through this one, no score. Kambuze. Kambuze. Over to that far side. Nice ball, and now the cross, but Kaba able to clear it. Ravens keep possession. Now off to the races, trying to chase it down is Yuseki. Great speed there, but the side of the net with his strike. That's wonderful play by number 12 for Carlton, the center back, Hamad, finding the target man, Enesaf, and sending the Carlton Ravens down the field for a, for a half chance, if you will. Lovely little ball feathered in there to Lefebvre. That was Benoit. But off the turnover, the Ravens take over. Good defensive work there by Hamad, who's been busy here early in the first half, and now being harassed by Poulin. And that call's going to go against Tail Poulin. Yes, we, we've seen a couple times. So, Donju in the mid in in the center back position, Hamed, Kafiro. There's no such thing as a, a stay-at-home defenseman anymore in in, uh, in football at this level. No glass and out. You have to be able to play the ball and unless absolutely necessary with their, their clearances either by head or by foot. They've been looking for, for, for a player and uh, they, they, fa they found him most, most every time. Kafiro into the middle, Darwish. Darwish has some room here, so he's going to size things up. He'll continue to use his back line of Hamad. Now, Kaba. Trying to send his mate away, Tommy. CBTV is your home for the 2023 Canada Life Vanier Cup from Kingston, Ontario. Catch the best in university football action Saturday, November 25th at 1 p.m. Eastern on CBC TV, CBC Gem, and CBC Sports.ca. So let's go, Ravens chance. Start here a little bit with their faithful and also local schools here in the Cape Breton area turning out to help support these teams. So some adoptive fans as well. Now Garcia. Good first touch there by So. He won the call for being climbed up the back by Piccioli. Teaser. Carlton now Asaf. He goes down. Now Piccioli tackle. Good work there against the dangerous Piccioli. 
Pomia has covered a lot of the field early in this matchup. Raven throw in here at about the 27 minute mark. Again, and no real, both teams have had a couple of spurts, but nothing what you would call a dangerous scoring chance here to start things. And that's a, a credit to the defense uh, of both teams and the organization as well of, of the, uh, the players, the, you know, the uh, unit of 11, if you will. Aliasi. Caravan turnover, but they take it back. Deflection. Coming together there was Tommy along with Lefebvre. Kaba. And now a battle for Ben Musa and Darwish. They're going to get Darwish on the call. Lefebvre in a battle. Now Benoit. Control here by the caravan. Now they'll put it right back to Teaser. To Sol. Sol with some room. Ben Musa. Left foot by Ben Musa. Cleared away there smartly by Garcia, but the caravan able to take it over. And almost one of those plays Bart that you allude to with almost, wouldn't say not with any purpose, but a kind of an easy turnover for the caravan there off the ball by Garcia. That was a nice ball by Leona Benoit. And just, just, the, way, just the place uh, he put the ball to sort of was uh, an awkward defensive position for the, for the Ravens back line. Caravan back with it. Much like the early minutes. Territorial control here, but trying to test David. Saul, left foot's into the corner. You can see the wind a little bit of a factor there, kind of taking the steam out of that one. We'll keep an eye on that. There have been occasional gusts, and you can see the players' uniforms kind of fluttering in the corner flags as well. Kafiro coughed it up. Caravan. 25 yards out now. Looking for a seam. A header by Lafay, but another weak one. Didn't quite tough one for him. Couldn't get much pepper on it. And a save by David. But some good variety the last couple minutes from Le Carabin. And just if you can, if you can almost mix up the, the back four in the midfield, they, they, they're comfortable with, you know, a certain yardage of space be, between them, but when you get them too tight or you get them too far apart, then, then you can create some scoring chances. So now. Danjou. Still scoreless here in quarterfinal number one, the sixth seed, Morial Caravan. And the third seed, Carlton Ravens here in our opening of four here at Ness Timmons Field on quarterfinal Thursday. Benoit laid it off, Lefebvre. Good defensive work there by Tomy. And now a battle. Tomy comes up with it. Kaba. Sliding play there. Advantage. Oh, and a sizzler just over the crossbar. Shout out to major sponsors. Glorious opportunity there. Ben Musa went down. It ended up on the toe of Kabuzi. And he whistled it just over the crossbar. A great strike. And on that foul, Darwish received a yellow card. So yellows for each side now, one for Bamusa, one for Darwish. So again, that Kambusi strike. 
Had plenty on us. Benoit now. Going to get merged back by our referee, Ryan Schwinger. It's always a little bit of leeway, but yes. it gets to about <laughs> 10, 15 yards. And the teams, rightfully so, try to gain as much as they can as going down there was Tommy and he's grabbing at his left leg. He gets up gingerly. So, so Tommy on the bench for the OUA final, but gets the nod this afternoon. He's walking a little gingerly, but no doubt will be able to walk that off. Hamad, Kafiro. Hamad now, scoreless here in the opening half. Good first touch there to settle it by Kone. Now Lefebvre, who's been active. Nice ball, it's loose. And trying to get a shot away, Poulin, but he couldn't, Lefebvre. Left footer, they score! Quinton Pomie. And we have our first goal in Nationals, the Caravan won. The Ravens, no score. Great touches here, Pomie. Oh, excuse me, that was, that was great by David to come out like that. Nice little layoff. And far corner. It's a great, a great shot and good, good composure in, in the box. It's easy to want to be able to just snatch at, at a ball, but left it nicely in Pomier. He has three goals, three assists on the, on the campaign. He made no mistake on that shot in close quarters. Pomier, a fourth year senior from Marseille, France, has kicked off our scoring here at the 2023 U Sport Proto Case U Sports National Championship. Caravan now looking for more. Ben Musa. Nice long ball there for Poulan. Poulan comes up with it. Sandwiched by a couple of defenders, but it will be a Caravan throw in. Now up one to nothing. Montreal building nicely throughout the half, and we've seen the last 10 minutes or so. They, they've had the they've had a, a nice purple patch, and they turn their pressure into a much deserved goal. Throw in now, about 10 minutes or so till half here at Ness Timmins Field. So good first touch, and then. Ben Musa, the same to put it deep. Caravan want to keep the pressure on. They're doing just so. And now the Ravens. Kone up for a run with her is Kaba. Tomi. Trying to change the field to that far side and making a connection there. Yoseki. Tickets for the 2023. If you like the action you're seeing today, pardon me, there are still tickets available for the rest of this 2023 U Sports Protocate Soccer Championship presented by Bell here in Sydney. Order your tickets today by visiting usports.ca slash tickets or by scanning the QR code on your screen. And a necessary, necessary clearance by Hamad. Carrollton will be able to get organized defensively for this throw in. Settled now. Ben Musa will use Danjou. Danjou chips it forward. No one there. Hamas. Very patient and calm in the back end here for the Ravens. Caravan though, good work and trying to pen them in a corner here. Oh, Kaba. Being watched by Benoit. 
It tripped up there once and then a second time. And getting the call was Asaf. And now the Ravens with some room. Tomi. Yoseki spinning away from his attacker was Garcia. This AUS game is presented to you by Mel. And Garcia, the, the captain, one of the acad an academic all Canadian and also one of the, the top eight, which is quite a, an illustrious honor. And I think down down a goal, he'll try to impose himself a little bit a little bit more on proceedings. Back to his feet there. Is Mortas. Free kick here for the Ravens. Chance to get the equalizer here in the final 10 of our opening half in Sydney. So look at the caravan net. Spinning and twirling, but finally stripped there on a solo effort by Garcia. Oh, and down. And that's, yes. Heavily it's there. Foul, at least. It looks like, no, actually, yeah. thought it might be a, a booking. That foul goes against Aliasi. And here it is on the far side. Trying to get away there was Piccioli. And chopped down by Aliasi. Piccioli's still there. That's about the third time yes. that he's really that taken a hard hit. So that would be a key loss for the Ravens as his whole team goes over to check on the stir. There's a look at the coach of the Caravan. Raimondo. Yes, the, the coach of the year and he's uh, he's implemented a, a good system here in, in the first half and his players ha have options through the middle the flanks and they've been they've been clever uh on couple couple of the, the fullback when they, when they're trying to put a ball into about the 18 yard box just the position it, it's sort of catching the the ravens flat footed and so it's, it's made them difficult to, to clear their line. It actually looks like Piccioli's getting some work around his, his mouth and face area with the training staff. Not sure when he took the fall on the turf that something may have happened. The road to the Canada Life Vanier Cup continues this weekend on cbcsports.ca with coverage of the OUA Leeds Cup Championship Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Those OUA champions will take on the winners of the RSEQ Dunsmore Cup next Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern in the 2023 UTEC Bowl from either Université de Montréal or Université Laval. The road to the Canada Life Fania Cup in the 2023 UTEC Bowl next Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca. Looks like Piccioli is back up and we're about ready to get back underway as we are in the 40th minute of play in the first half. And taking the free kick will be Piccioli and no doubt if there was, if it was work around his mouth, he'd have to be patched up if there was bleeding before he could continue. So now nine goals on the season, as we mentioned, for Piccioli, one of the top point getters in the country. Piccioli, headed down, oh, a big save there by Teaser, and that was off the soaring header from Kaba. And that's a loose, loose foul. Get a look at Piccioli and watch how Kaba soared, but a sensational save there by Tissier. Yes, great reflexes to get to that ball on the short side. And 
there will be more defending to do here for Montreal. Luca Piccioli is really had a rough ride here in this opening half. Garcia over the ball. Another free kick opportunity here in the final minutes of this opening half. We'll have to keep an eye as well as what injury times tacked on. Oh, and that one, that was Garcia wanted there. That might have got caught up in the wind. Here's that save by Teaser. Kaba again with a sensational opportunity. Even, even, sorry, Corey, just going to say, even the save, he just punched it right down rather than punched it into an open space where there could be a rebound. It's been exceptional by all 22 players on the field, and they're all very much playing to a, to a national standard. Headed out, Ravens will have the throw in here. They trail by a goal, the OUA champion, third seed against the RSEQ runners up, Montreal Caravan, the sixth seed, but they lead one to nothing. And once you get to this level with upsets, especially in conference finals, the seedings are almost a toss up as Lefebvre. And that deflects off Kaba. So a big corner kick chance here. And wouldn't a two goal edge loom large for either side in this one so tightly played? Set piece is absolutely crucial at this level. And it will be battle station time here for the Ravens. That's going Pomier, the goal scorer. Headed down, still loose. Squirts out of the box. Tommy. Kaba. And now Piccioli. Great support play again by Asaf. Ahmed. Far side, beautiful first touch there by Garcia. Tommy Piccioli now. Tried to send Yuseki away. Yusef. Good retreating header there by Benoit. Kaba who had that big scoring chance off the corner. Teaser. He'll pick it up with Piccioli close by. You can see yet how much time we have tacked on here in this opening half. Picked up. Caravan now looking for a late one. Already up a goal. Kaba. Garcia was looking for a call, not going to get one. As he was tangled up with Saul. Two minutes tacked on here in our opening half. Caravan one, Ravens no score. Now getting up gingerly is Garcia. So another key Raven taking his lumps here in this opening half. Chasing it down there, Poulin. He got in a battle on that far side for, with Kafiro. Or even throw in here late, do they have some magic in this closing minute or so, Kaba. We're forcing the issue where the caravan, they cause the turnover. 
Excellent work there by Aliasi. Aliasi still with it. He goes down against Kone, but now Tomi. Tomi, but out smartly and quickly as Teaser. Ravens know time is limited, and Kone couldn't keep it in. Caravan now. Benoit. Aliasi. Gained some real estate of nothing else now for a throw in. There's Aliasi. Another throw in for him late. Ashley coming to take it will be Benoit. A goal here would certainly be a momentum swing in this evenly matched opening half for probably if it stays at one to nothing, uh, full marks to the caravan for that lead. Now Aliasi. Gently crossed, headed, oh, a big save by David, who keeps it at one goal, and wow, that might have been a game saver against Lafave. Yes, I was just, just going to say, Lafave, what a strike here. And David again. Both keepers, they haven't been overly busy, but they've had to save some quality shots. And again, that may have been a game saver for the Ravens, who would have trailed two to nothing. What a deflator that would have been to fall behind by two late. So in our first quarter final here at the 2023 Proto KSU Sports Men's Soccer Championship, at the end of the first half, it's the Montreal Caravan won the Carlton Ravens no score. Coming up in the halftime show, we'll meet a U Sports Award winner and recap the first half scoring. At the half, it's the Caravan won the Ravens no score. You're watching the Proto Case U Sports Men's Soccer Championship presented by Bell on CBC. Voici les candidats pour le prix de l'entraîneur ou l'entraîneuse de l'année Fox 40 U Sport. The nominees for the 2023 Fox 40 U Sports Men's Soccer Coach of the Year are Du Sport Universitaire de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Fran Kennedy, Université saint francis Xavier, saint Apex University. Du Réseau du Sport Étudiant du Québec, from the RSEQ, Pat Raimondo, Université de Montréal, University of Montreal. Des Sports Universitaires de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Marcelo Plata, Université Carleton University. Et de l'Association West Canadienne, from Canada West, Larry Stefanik, Université de Victoria, University of Victoria. Le lauréat ou la lauréate du prix de l'entraîneur ou l'entraîneuse de l'année Fox 40 U Sport est, the winner of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year is Pat Raimondo, Université de Montréal. University of Montreal.
Les candidats pour le prix de l'engagement communautaire U-Sport sont The nominees for the U-Sports Men's Soccer Community Service Award are Du sport universitaire de l'Atlantique from the Université de Sherbrooke, University of Sherbrooke Des sports universitaires de l'Ontario from the OUA, Alexander Domingos, Université de Nipissing University Et de l'Association West Canadienne from Canada West, Chris Lee Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. Le lauréat du prix de l'engagement communautaire est The winner of the U Sports Community Service Award is Luke Berryman, Université Dalhousie University. The nominees for the 2023 Lou Bielek Award for the U Sports Men's Soccer Rookie of the Year are En nomination pour le prix Lou Bielek décerné à la recrue de l'année 2023 en soccer masculin Du sport universitaire de l'Atlantique From the AUS, Isaac Van Weichen, Université St. Francis Xavier, St. Effects University Du réseau du sport étudiant du Québec From the RSEQ, Maxime Bourgeois, Université de Sherbrooke, University of Sherbrooke Des sports universitaires de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Michael Maslanka, Université de Toronto, University of Toronto, et de l'Association West Canadienne, from Canada West, Brennan First, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. Le lauréat du prix Lou Bielek en tant que recrue de l'année en soccer masculin U-Sport est The winner of the Lou Bielek Award as U-Sports Men's Soccer Rookie of the Year is Brennan First. Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. It was my greatest thrill When we just stood still You let me hold your hand till I had my fill Help you to See you through Whatever life looks like to you, we're here for it. For life as you know it. Insurance, investments, advice. Canada Life. The nominees for the 2023 Joe Johnson Award as the U Sports Men's Soccer Player of the Year are En nomination pour le prix Joe Johnson décerné à l'athlète de l'année en soccer masculin U Sport. Du sport universitaire de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Kyle Cordero, Université Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Effex University. Du réseau du sport étudiant du Québec, from the RSEQ, Gregory David, Université du Québec à Montréal, UCAM. Des sports universitaires de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Omar Marzouk, Université Ontario Tech University. Et de l'Association West Canadienne, from Canada West, Sebastian Jakowski, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. Le lauréat du prix Joe Johnson décerné aux joueurs de l'année en soccer masculin U-Sport est The winner of the Joe Johnson Award as the 2023 U-Sports Player of the Year in Men's Soccer is Sebastian Jakowski, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC.
Welcome back, folks, to the 2023 Proto Case U Sports Men's Soccer Championship at Ness Timmins Field on the campus of Cape Breton University in Sydney, Nova Scotia. We're at halftime on our first of quarterfinal Thursday here at Nationals, and you see some of the highlights of our opening half, including a great save there by David on Lefebvre of the caravan. Caravan had maybe a slight age ter edge per me territorially and pressure wise. And that certainly Bart Sears has translated on the scoreboard with the goal by Pomier. Yes, they had the the early advantage in, in possession for say the first ten or fifteen minutes. Then the, the tide swung a little bit, Carlton had a few chances. And there's a, a this I believe is the is the goal here. Lefebvre, what a what a what a, a layoff pass and a, a wonderful strike. And here's that big chance for mm -hmm. Kabah off the free kick. But mm -hmm. as you said, even the way that Teaser saved it, directed it away from the traffic. Great you see run. the run by here for Tommy, but. Teaser again, and here's that late chance. Really, that would have been a real momentum swing. Yes, the to the, go up to nothing. The, the rebound control, as as they say, has been exceptional by both keepers here in the first half. When we return, second half action here. From CBU, you're watching the 2023 Proto KC Sports Men's Soccer Championship presented by Bell on CBC. <laughs> What's wrong? I dreamt we had cable internet. Oh, sweetie. We've always had cable internet. <laughs> Once you're used to Bell Pure Fiber Internet, anything else is terrifying. Gonna crush the bake sale tomorrow, huh? And. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is that the sugar you've been using? Yep. You put it in the cookies? Yep. The cupcakes? Yep. The brownies? Yep. Not the snickerdoodles? Yep, everything. Huh. From our bakery to your table. So be it, Selby's. À quoi ressemble votre vie, vous pouvez compter sur nous pour la vie comme vous la vivez. Assurance, placement, conseil. Canada Vie. Unbelievable! History has repeated itself! Get the stories behind the glory. Watch, listen, stream, read CBC Sports. It starts with a collective vision. A shared history, a bold dream. It's full of hope and prosperity for an entire island. It's built on a fusion of culture, collaboration, and ambition. 
A future of our own making, by our own hand. Full of new ideas, innovation, and wonder. Together, we create unprecedented opportunities. Together, we build a sustainable way forward. Together, we welcome the world and change it at the same time. Now and forever, Cape Breton University. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visit the shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. Welcome back to the 2023 Proto-K U Sports Men's Soccer Championship. Live from Cape Breton University, Ness Timmins Field in Sydney, Nova Scotia. It's quarterfinal Thursday. Our first of four has a half in the books. The number six seed, Morial Caravan, and the number three seed, Carlton Ravens, as we're underway here in the second half. Caravan lead one to nothing. They're in the blue with white trim. Carlton in the white and black. Corey LeBlanc along with you, Bart Sears along for the trip. In this one, a pretty even opening half, Bart, maybe a slight edge to the caravan and full marks to them for the one goal lead. Yes, they, they started well and they, they finished well. And in, in the middle, middle of the half, the Ravens had, had a nice purple patch, a number of free kicks but starting with uh, Tessier and So and Danjou and in the, in the, that, that golden triangle, if you will, they were, they were superb and there were no, no real second chances for Carlton. Caravan had a glorious opportunity as we spoke about really in the final minute of the opening half, take a two goal lead, but a great save by Tyler David. Off low and Lefebvre. Kept it at one goal. That again it could be a big momentum swinger here as Sol uses his keeper teaser. David's depth in the net has been impressive as well as his, his rebound control. Chance here for Carlton off the turnover, but the shot was blocked. Now back the other way. The Ravens trying to get the early equalizer here. Get a better look this half at Garcia. And he's got big shoes to fill. Kaba was impressive on the TV side. Scooped up there by Teaser. That was off the ball from Yuseki. Again, just underway here in our second half. First of four quarterfinal matches here today. The rain is holding off here in Sydney. Overcast. The wind not really a factor. An occasional gust, but it can be a big factor here at times in this Timmins Field, but hasn't dictated any of the play so far. Now the caravan. Eliasi. So a chance here early for the caravan. There's the captain going to take the corner and our goal scorer, Pamie. He's shown a, a wonderful first touch on the ball, as soft or as, as uh, firm as it needs to be. Pamie headed away, settled, struck. And that was Lafave. 
Again, a, a great ball in. And it looked like Piccioli had the header. Garcia. Piccioli there came together with Pamie. Caravan now. Aliasi tried to split the D, but then it's cleared. That call is going to go against Asef. He didn't agree, but. Easy one there, now on the back end. Danju and Seoul. As you mentioned in our intro, Bert, the rematch of the 2021 championship match in U Sports. So these are programs familiar with each other. That was the Caravan second all time U Sports title. Carlton is yet to win one. Coming up, our second quarter final in the U Sports Men's Soccer Championships here at Ness Timmins Field. It's going to feature the number two seed in AUS champion, Santa Fe X Men, and the number seven seed, UBC Thunderbirds. And we'll also remind you that you can catch all the action in the U Sports Women's Soccer Championships in Kingston, Ontario. You can watch live on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca on these same dates, November 9th to the 12th. And you can catch all that action on CBC Sports and usports.ca. So once again, the captain over the ball. Good low liner by Pommier. Early minutes here of our second half. Again, our goal scorer, Quentin Pommier, in the opening half. That's the difference. Ravens now. In the OUA champions. Caravan. We're the leading team in RSEQ throughout the season, but we're upended in the conference final match by the Patriot of Trois Rivieres. And we'll see them later in our 4 p.m. Eastern time, or 3 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Atlantic matchup with the host hey, Cape Breton University our, Capers. That ball just, just came up and, and hit the, the hand of Pomier. Pomier, excuse me. So you can get an idea a little bit of the, the wind at feel level. But again, it can be much more pronounced here where it dictates, depending on the side of the field you're on it. Ness Timmins Field, whether the play with the wind. Chance here for the Caravan. Oh, Lefebvre almost had a golden opportunity, but Kaba. Kaba's been great on both ends of the field for the Ravens. Senior forward, one of the Ottawa products, very much Ottawa heavy roster. For Marcelo Plata. Youssef lays it off for Hamad. Hamad. Her side, Kaba. Chance here trying to get on coil is Asaf. He went down. That'll give. So a chance. So taking some of his field, but great detoured pass. there, but a great recovery and a feed there. Aliasi. 
Trying to send his mate to the corner. Able to keep it in. Great hustle there by Poulin. But now, here comes Piccioli. Piccioli, lovely ball. Oh, heavy collision. And free kick. Both players down yes. heavily. The collision, Teaser and Asaf. Beautiful ball by Piccioli. Yes, I'd have to agree with the referee, David Layton, in coming out. As both teams yes. having their bit of a say to our referee, Ryan Schwanger. But again, it'll be a golden chance for the equalizer here. As you can see, both players feeling the effects of that collision. Those are our two two big boys in a heavy collision. Canada's top university brothers head to London in the historic Thames Valley Golf Course for the 2023 Youth Sports Men's and Women's Cross Country Championships on Sunday, November 12th. The women's race begins at noon Eastern followed by the men's at 1 p.m. Exclusive coverage of the 2023 U Sports Men's and Women's Cross Country Championships begins Sunday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca. So still down is Tisser. The indication given to the bench that he, three great work he work is okay. Did see the, the thumbs up. But again, for Morial conceding a foul in a dangerous territory. Head coach Marcelo Plata having a word there with Rafael Garcia during the injury delay oh here. Oh my. Just seen a red card for Tisa. So. A, well, a, a professional foul. The referee, in his opinion, said that Tisser was the last man back. So along with insult injury there, I yes. guess if you're yeah. Jordan last Tisser. This is, this is a high standard of, of play, and the referees or the, and the officials need to act accordingly based on the standard of play. And the referee's decision is red card. So we're going to see Olivier Rouleau take over at keeper. for the Carabin. And Olivier Rouleau, a junior from Saint Lambert, Quebec. So again, the delay continues here as So Ali say to be substituted, that's, that's uh, a tough decision for, for the coach to make. He's, he's been excellent creating space for, for his, his fellow forwards, Lefebvre, Poulain. And but needs, needs must. There's Olivier Rouleau. And what a spot for him to come in and, and not only come in cold, you're always prepared to have to take the pitch, but now a dangerous opportunity to boot. As Garcia and Piccioli over the ball again, it'll be Piccioli. Nine goals on the season, one of the top goal scorers in the country. So 
So the crowd gets into it again. So a great turnout for both teams. Well traveled and then some great support from some local schools here who brought some of their students to soak up all the U Sports championship action. So some adoptive fans, as I mentioned as well. Here's Piccioli over the ball. Piccioli struck off the wall. And then volleyed the rebound. Oh, it's loose and they score! Great shot. Rouleau on the second. Piccioli volley. And a soft, the man. The touch by Piccioli. Rouleau. And it looked like his D abandoned him. There was no one around. And picking it up and putting it home, Asaf. There he is, number 18, to tie it at one. So what a turning point here. We have a red card to Jordan, Jordan Teaser of the Caravan, their starting keeper. Coming in, Rouleau. Got a piece of that rebound attempt from Piccioli, but putting it home. For the Ravens, Danny Asaf. The fifth year senior midfielder, another Ottawa product. And wow, has the tone of this one changed, Bert? Absolutely, Asaf has been sensational and a well-deserved goal. He's, he's been helping out defensively, a great target man, running hard, really putting the, the center backs under pressure. And uh, by his standards, I'm sure a, fa a fairly simple goal. One apiece now in the 60th minute. Caravan look for an answer. And lest we forget that uh, also a player down now the rest of the way. Here's the, again, what touch by Piccioli as he volleyed the rebound. An equally strong play there by Asif. And I just am still boggled by him being left alone with Rouleau to tie it at one. And again, the caravan have to go the rest of the way, a player down after the red card to Teaser. Caravan now, beautiful ball control as they try to answer back. Ben Musa. Some room here, Mortas and David able to make the save. So basically two up front now for Le Carabin. Ravens trying to build on the momentum. There's Garcia redirected by our goal scorer Asaf. There he is. Full of confidence now. And it trickles into Rouleau again. The junior in a tough spot here. Throw him right into the fire in this national quarterfinal. Caravan. Ben Moussa. Chips a left footer forward. But headed back by Toomey. Then drag down. CBC TV is your home for the 2023 Canada Life Vanier Cup from Kingston, Ontario. Catch the best in university football action Saturday, November 25th at 1 p.m. Eastern on CBC TV, CBC Gem, and cbcsports.ca. So they'll take this short. Do the Ravens. Piccioli. The top offensive players, not only in the OUA, but in the country. And he showed that on that free kick and how that unfolded, especially on the second ball into the box. Just a, what a touch. It was about a, almost a knee high volley. Lusecki. There's Piccioli, good close out there by 
Pamie, and that's our two goal scorers. And there's a look at Fat Ramon. Mamundo, pardon me, the National Coach of the Year. Headman for the Carabin. So discipline with 10 men will be absolutely crucial for Le Carabin in the final half hour of proceedings. And certainly if they get any sort of, not that you wouldn't be of that mindset regardless, but if they get any sort of quality scoring opportunity, they really have to focus on making it count. And there's the captain again, Pamie Poulin, in a good battle there against Kafiro. And what we've seen, Palmier play a little further up as, as midfielder in the back number nine. Uh, ben Moussa has been excellent at roving, knowing where to be, when to be, not playing, as it were, a holding midfield player, uh, the holding midfield role, but knowing when to support the back four and know, and he knows exactly when to come up and, and support his strikers. It's been by number nine and number 10 for Montreal. Uh, an excellent display, and uh, they've been a great tandem. Rare violation call there on the throwing gives a chance to the caravan. It's loose in the six yard box, and David pounces on it finally. So, again, good chance here. Started by Mortas. Good battle, both sides, and finally David smothers it. Ravens. Well, Seki will we'll handle it. We'll, bl we'll blame the turf on that, uh, Corey. Corey. Kaba's been pretty much in per inch perfect all game. Of course, there's the the misconception. Turf is turf, certainly like any grass field. There, <laughs> each one has its uh, nuances. We'll say. Well put. Saul, that big left foot. Ravens first, the corral it though. Lovely ball, Piccioli, and an equally good tackle there by Danjou. Ravens, Yoseki. Some room for Garcia, and now Tomi. Kafiro, Tomi, little give and go. Great work here in close quarters by the Ravens. Finally, jarred loose, juggled loose, and but still right back to it. Come the Ravens, but that pass was behind Yoseki. We saw two particular inches. This one by Hamad being right on the Caravan player. And then pr just previously, Danjou. Yoseki will check out. Anthony Domenico in for the OUA champs, number 39. Domenico. A sophomore from Ottawa as well, business student. He's into the fray for Yoseki. Ravens now patient, up a man. Again, earlier in this, earlier in this half, a red card to Caravan keeper. Teaser all on, not able to get good mustard on that cross. But the Ravens keep possession. Garcia lays it off for Kone. Kone cross. Good work here. Again, down the man. Another nice defensive play by Danjou. Now the caravan. You would think this would be one of the areas they might on the counter attack. 
Up front there with Pomier and Poulin. Focusing here tomorrow. Tickets for the 2023 Canada Life Fanier Cup in Kingston, Ontario begin at $20. Order your tickets for the to the biggest football game of the year by visiting VanierCup.com or by scanning the QR code on your screen. So a big corner kick opportunity. Could this be the, the sliver of light for the caravan? Headed away though by Kaba. And now back to the keeper, Rouleau. Get some room here for Danju. Danju gets it back for Mortas. And now some room for Kareem Saul. Ravens playing back here with the man advantage. Getting up into the 70th minute of this one. It's been entertaining. A matchup of our U Sports finalists from two years ago. Montreal won their second championship in dramatic fashion over the Ravens. We're looking for their first national men's soccer title. Room here for Kabuzi. Slammed away. So good work here by the caravan so far, Bart, since they lost Teaser and of course the man on the field. Yes, they, they stayed to the, the same style of play, looking to keep possession and then attack when it's on. So ripped one there. Lefebvre. Good work there. Poulin tried to come up with it, but Kaba, who's been a presence on both ends of the field for Marcelo Plata. Hamad over that first side. Kaba. Now off to the races with a burst of speed, looking across it. Soul with a good defensive play. Great run there by Kafiro. Hamad. Ravens. One apiece here. Pomie in the opening half. Asaf in the second to tie it for the Ravens. Caravan, the RSCQ runners up the sixth seed. Ravens now the third seed looking to take their first lead and they're gonna blow it down once the advantage was Tommy did not get what he wanted to on that ball, but he's been prominent, 21 in white. And just just as, as we've seen with Asaf, knows where to be and, where to, er, and when to be there on, on the pitch. Forward by position, yes, but just a, an all-around great footballer. And there you get a good look at Kareem Saul, who's been rock solid on the yes. back for the caravan today along with Danjou. Again, their backup keeper and now Olivier Rouleau. 73rd minute of this one. Great start to our quarterfinal Thursday here at the National Championship Tournament. And there is Rouleau. So, Caravan again, down the 10 men. Say, 
You can hear the youngsters yes. from local schools getting really into what they, the maybe the leftover Halloween treat snacks are starting <laughs> to, to kick in. Sliding play there. That will gain Le Carabin about 20 yards. Kone with more good work. And now Tomi. If you like the action you're seeing here today, there are still tickets available for the rest of the 2023 Proto KSU Sports Soccer Championships presented by Bell here in Sydney. Order your tickets today by visiting usports.ca slash tickets or by scanning the QR code you see on your screen. Ravens now looking for their first lead. Dominico, some good touches. That will earn the Ravens a throw in. One to one. Winner of this one, of course, gets a berth at tomorrow's, one of tomorrow's semifinal matches on the road to the national championship. Domenico, great first touch there to settle it and then lay it off to the Raven goal scorer, Asef David. Can we, will we, as we kind of reminisce or reflect on this one, will we be going back to that David save in the final seconds of the first half that could have given the Caravan a two goal lead heading to the locker room. It stayed one to nothing. And then of course, early in the half here, the red card to Jordan Teaser and the subsequent goal off the free kick. To tie it at one, that's where we stand. Kafiro. Now Hamad. Ravens are patient. Oh, tried to feather through, just the angle wasn't quite there, but trying to battle to get it back was Kafiro after he tried to send Kone in. And now on the counter, can the caravan make some hay here and now? Tomia, Morial goal scorer. Danjou. Up into the 77th minute, breaking free there was Poulain. Poulain. Feathers it, goes out the back door and now trying to battle to get it back. There's Lefebvre, Lefebvre kind of ended up hot as he along. Looks like yes, actually he's... not Yuseki but Kone all entangled. The call ended up going to Lefebvre. Yes, he just found himself on the on the wrong side of the, of the ball, did Lefebvre. And though it was, a, you might accuse the the Carl a bit of a, a bit of a turtle, if you will. But no, he's perfectly entitled to protect the protect the ball. Looks like a bench, someone in the caravan bench. On um, Benoit leaves number two into the action. Is Alexander Casaros And this 1-1 one, one tie. So again, Caceres 19 for Benoit number two. Ravens now. Third seed, OUA champions. Top five program as were the Caravan throughout the season in the rankings. Chance here off the turnover. Can the caravan get some build up now? Saul. Danjou. Keeping it on the deck. 
The tough first touch it of the match sure for us. Uh, for Katsaros. You took the words right out, out of my mouth, Corey. Fresh off the bench. And no doubt takes in it in uh, any weather when this type of damp, cool weather, although the weather for again November in the east coast of Canada is really I don't know if the teams could complain too too much. No. No one will listen if they no, do. No, that's right. But we've seen even in AUS Championship action, bar much worse uh, weather yes. at this time of year, even a couple of weeks ago. So this is, we'll take this for the next few days as Lafave. Yes, the, the big thing here in Sydney, though, is is at this time of year, the wind. And it's it's been fairly calm this afternoon and going uh, yes Ravens going to their bench once again looks like the goal scorer Danny Asaf is going to vacate for Yusef Osman and Caden Toomey is out as well and in for him is Mohamed Bouzidi so Bouzidi and Osman in, Asaf and Tomi to the bench. So some fresh legs in there for the already one player advantage. Advantage, yes. Ravens, but and down Lo loose loose play here by Pomier. And I think once again that is. Yes. Pichioli, that's probably his fourth time that he's really, you know, taken a legitimate good clip and back to his feet and good sportsmanship all around there by Lefebvre. Pichioli. I was just going to say, Pomi has had a, for being so involved and near the action, uh, he's been very tidy. Dominico. Dominico. Left footer. First touches by the Ravens. Still in. And getting it back there with a chance now. Darwish, who had that initial header. On the secondary opportunity here, can the Ravens do anything? But no, it'll be clear. So the Caravan Dodger. Lefebvre now, great work. Won that battle against Kafiro. But nobody was with him up on the play and now. Domenico. The road to the Canada Life Vanier Cup continues next Saturday with the 2023 Mitchell Bowl as the Canada West champions host the AUS champs beginning at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 p.m. Pacific on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca. Ahmad. Sanchez. Oh, and a big save, the rebound oh. was blocked. Great chance for Mohammed. Rulo, the initial right, looked like he got his right hand on it. And while the backup, that could have been a game saver there. We'll get a look at it. The initial ball by Garcia. And a sliding play, and you see the save by Rulo, and then the shot block by his defense on the rebound. And another angle. See the right hand of Rouleau. And last ditch defending by Danju. Domenico so, with wow. the big chance, so wow. Again, he's come in in a tough spot off the bench, but he's earned his keep with that sensational save. And Domenico has been great since he's come on. A couple of good strikes. And in that particular instance, in tight on Rouleau.
So that call goes against Domenico. And we'll see in the last uh, 15 or plus a, a few extra, if Darwish can come forward a little bit more, number six in white. He's, he's been great uh, shielding that back four, helping out when, need, when needs be. But uh, in a one-all game, when you're, when you're up, you, you can afford to play, I think, a little bit higher. And you can, you can trust that back four to, to make the right play and the right decision. Series of headers that's inside the Raven end and that call. Yes. That's the Raven or the Caravan and, and Osman that was a put a late challenge in. Pomie back to his feet and Hill looks like he'll tee up the free kick here as we're up the 85th minute. So it's a note that we'll I'm surmising we'll have more than two minutes tacked on at the end. We had that long delay both for the injuries and the red card, the teaser early in the second half. Headed away and then cleared. But trying to put it right back in smartly now. Danjou, oh. And Poulin almost found Ben Moussa. Yeah, that was a great touch by Poulin. Ravens now back with it again. For the lion's share this half have been up a player after the red card the starting caravan keeper jordan teaser ravens to get the equalizer here in the second half by danny asaf first half goal by quentin pomie for the caravan Ravens now, Kafiro, Kone. Oh. Volley forward by Saul. That's classy. Quite often the good ones make it so easy. Yes. Look at Saul, it's just that not an easy play, but he made it look like one. Cool as you like, might be a, a bit a bit strong in that instance, but definitely a confidence, uh, confident play by number three in blue. So Caravan now. Ben Musa in a battle and get all twisted and tangled yeah. up. It's a bad one by Ben Musa. By Osman, with Osman, pardon yeah. me. So a big chance here for the Ravens. Not surprisingly, it's Piccioli over it. Nine goals on the season. It looks like uh, Amadou Kone is going to head off 19. So 14 for 19. Darren Bouaziz in as the Ravens congratulate Kone on his effort so far. And it was, it was an excellent performance. On that far post, Ravens did get ahead on it, but harmlessly out the touch. Again, Piccioli. I think that was, once again, number six, Darwish, that got ahead on that ball. And there's a look at the back of Olivier Rouleau, who again made that Excellent save with the right hand that's kept it at one to one. And full marks to him. He's looked comfortable since he's come in. That first goal really no. Almost his D uh, abandoned yes. him on that one. He made the, the initial save off the rebound from Piccioli, but all alone was Asaf to tie it at one. Now the caravan, Mortas. So. And you're thinking at this time, the caravan really don't want to take any sort of chances. 
right. Garcia Piccioli upfield trying to chase it down. Domenico, oh, and he come up gingerly. And hopefully it didn't look like any sort of contact, so hopefully he's okay. That's always scary when it's a non-contact, but here's Lefebvre. Tried to twist it. He's had a couple just go wide of the mark, but when the ball is on his boot, if you're a Caravan fan, you're, you're happy with that. Back we have three more. The check on Domenico. So one to one here as we head down the stretch up, creeping up the 90th minute. We'll keep an eye on what sort of stoppage time we'll have tacked on here at Ness Timmons Field as both teams take a chance to hydrate the caravan taking full advantage again as they're riding a player short here for most of this half. But I would say both teams have played within themselves. It hasn't been a, a Premier League style blood and thunder back and forth type of display. It's been more more of a Champions League style where you're patient on the ball, you take your chances when you when you have them and if you're if you're catching the other team flat footed you do you do have a good go at them and, and try to put them under pressure. Just see six, six minutes. minutes tacked on here. So plenty of time for one of the teams to finish this one in regulation. Chance here now off the cough up for the caravan to get something started. Hops loose, Ravens. Trying to counter, and good to see Anthony Domenico back out there. Yeah, he look, he doesn't look to be favoring it at all. So perhaps just a, a stinger. Osman. Pops it out, but it'll give the caravan a throw in. Saul. Saul with it. And yeah, that was a, a bit of a clip there. They're going to get more toss. More toss, yes. As he clipped. And the ref's been, been been great. He's he's let some stuff go, but the the uh, if if you're late or cynical, he w he will blow his whistle. Caravan now. Danjou ahead. Good. Good recovery there by. Pamie, who has the caravan goal. Danny Asef for the Ravens. So, starting to ramp it up here and he'll get taken down Smart. from behind. That's brilliant play by So. Jumped up out of, the, out of his line and then he went, he went down smartly. This is street smart soccer here by so so he did take the forearm yeah. from piccioli so free kick chance it is from distance but we know what can happen off these set pieces caravan down a player pamie will take the free kick what a dramatic finish this would be if the caravan could get the victory after falling down a man for most of the second half. Pamie, softly, still loose. Lefebvre tries to get it in, but it's defend it well and Ahmed. Great. 
the confidence to take that extra touch on the ball and look for Dominica up top. Dominico, excuse me. Blocked there by Kafiro off that cross attempt by Mortas. So the caravan stoppage time here. Six minutes were tacked on. An extra 30 minutes here looming in our first of four quarterfinal matches today here in Sydney. Chipped forward, put right back in. Lefebvre. Great to stay on side. Lefebvre. Coming up is so. Now the Ravens look to get on the counter attack mm -hmm. and get out on the run. David. Dancing along his 18 yard line. Laid off by Garcia. So let's go Ravens cheers. From the local youngsters trying to urge them to a victory here. Ravens now. Good work there and coming away with it. Casaris. And the Ravens, no stranger to success in Nova Scotia. How many titles did the basket, the men's basketball team win in Halifax? I think you could probably put them on more than, than one hand. Yeah, plenty of success for Ravens when they fly east, certainly. Yes. We'll see if that's the same here in men's soccer. Bodies tumbling there. Yes, and he's going to call a handball. The arm was out in an unnatural position. Sebastian Kabuzi. So a golden chance here for Carlton. And as Nelson of her friends of Nova Streamer producer director points out that Carl and Ravens even closer success with their women's basketball team capturing last year's national championship right here uh, a stone's throw away at Sullivan Fieldhouse here at CBU so could be back to back mm -hmm. national championship celebrations for Carlton here on K Breton soil So no points for guessing who's over the ball. So we'll see if this is just route one or if they, they try something off the training ground paddock that might take three or four passes to develop into, into a shot on target. Pomenico and getting the head on it there, but Going wide and out the touch was Osman. And that's the end of regulation and a 1 1 tie, as you see. Ryan Schwanger resetting his watches, so it'll be 2 15 minute overtime halves, just like a mini game. Basically, it's not sudden death, of course. Right, right. And no, no silver goal, no golden goal. And if that 30 minutes doesn't solve anything, we'll head to penalty kick. So a dramatic way to start our quarterfinal Thursday here at the 2023 Proto KSU Sports Men's Soccer Championship at Ness Timmins Field on the Cape Breton University campus in Sydney. One to one, Carlton and Montreal, and we're gonna have the coin flip for the start of our first 15 minute half. And Bart really storylines Caravan 
maybe a slight edge in the first half and they had the lead for it on the goal by Quentin Pomie. It was one nothing at the half and then really a game changer early in the second with the red card to their keeper, Jordan Teaser, and off a free kick from that. It was Danny Asseff to tie that one, but really since then there was nothing glaring in terms of, well, heavens, the caravan are short and you can really tell it was even really the rest of the way and they had some chances to to take the lead even a player down and we get a good look at at so who was sensational and just the timing of when you need to make a difference and as we approach the 90 so just saw his space okay i'll jump up went drew a foul and then uh, the resulting free kick uh didn't didn't come to fruition in a, in a goal but those are the plays that uh, that are going to need to be made. You're going to have to take a calculated risk to do something that no one is either that no one else might be willing to do. You, you and at this level, that's that is what's required. It's been an outstanding. We get a look at the the captain number ten, Pomier, who was just sensational. For, for 90 minutes, uh, a real leader, and especially down to 10 men. You, you, you speak to, there seemed to be no difference between the two teams seeing that, that Montreal were down to 10 men. It the fact that Montreal could control the ball, and that had a lot to do with uh, Ben Moussa and Pomeyar. And they were, never, they were never really, Montreal, they were never under the pump. Uh, by by Carlton a few few free kicks conceded yes but uh, it was it's honors even after 90 minutes and there's another one of the heroes of regulation for the caravan their backup keeper Olivier Rolau who made the save of the game really with the right hand yes off a free kick that kept it at one to one he got thrown into the fray again with the teaser red card and it was a double whammy often you see of course teams go down a player with a red card but for the caravan along with going down a player you use your your star lose pardon me your starting keeper yes along with it so throw him right in there was the junior Rouleau and he was up to the task as the caravan huddle here before the start of our first 15 minute overtime half and there's two of them. And again, it's not sudden death, so we'll play the 30. And then we'll see where we're at after that. And of course, the caravan continue. A player short, that doesn't change. As the Ravens, OUA champs, third seed in this tournament, looking for their first national championship. And I think in this tournament where there were so many conference final upsets and and strength across the country, whoever ends up hoisting the championship trophy on Sunday and win gold will get full marks for it. And we see it here, the first kind of uh, road on the, or the first leg of the journey for these two teams hasn't been an easy one. We'll see who comes out on top here in our first quarter final. And for the, the next 30 minutes, have to just keep your, your, your mental strength as, as much as anything. Don't find yourself on the, the wrong side of the ball. Don't make a lazy pass. You've got to keep everything as tight as possible. Trust your players to know where they need to be. Don't overchase as well. That, that, can, that can really leave some open space. And when you see the likes of Lefebvre or uh, Piccioli, they, they know how to capitalize. So in our underway here in our first 15 minute half, Tied at one, our first quarter final here at the 2023 Proto Case U Sports Men's National Soccer Championship. And there's Cabo who's had a great match yes. for Marcelo Plata. So that first early call goes against Mohamed Buzidi, who subbed in the second half. The Caravan players slow to get up. And coming up gingerly is the captain, Pamie. 
Saul. Ben Musa, and now Pamie, the captain. Goal scorer here today for the Caravan. Come on. Ravens look to get off to the Ravens. Domenico. Another of the second half subs, and he goes down. The, the ref's not having, not blowing the whistle for anything like that, and, and he hasn't all game, to be fair to him. Oh, and that'll be a late Box. clip there. And that was an easy call long after the the ball had been gone, or at least, I'm not sure if that's Domenico on that yes, call. Yes, I, be I believe so. And I ne never assume, and uh, the, the last free kick of the game, I just assumed it was Piccioli over the ball, but on, on Domenico's uh, strong side, he, he had the honor. That was Najib Chamil. Here he is, number 14. The injured caravan, keeping it on the deck. Obviously a goal here, oh! And that was a nice looking play, just the final step didn't come to fruition. Now Domenico. Osman. And out off his line was Teaser. Nice sequence here by the caravan. They wanted a call, you'll see that the top of your screen Going down was Poulin. And there is Poulin. Over to the far side. But now, chance here for the Ravens on the counter attack. Buazis. And they're going to call it, send it the other way. And that was Piccioli. Up sniffing around, looking for a chance to give his team the lead. Donju, long ball, headed by Kaba. Battle of the headers there. Suddenly coming down with it. That was Garcia. Garcia booms it forward. And the caravan now. Big throw in here as they again try to take the lead. They led one to nothing. Carlton has not led tied as early in the second half on a goal by Danny Asef. Back the other way, Ravens. That was easily turned aside. Good work there. Pizarros. It was Ben Musa. The captain, now Ben Musa gets it back. Using Saul, along with Danjou. Pomier lost to Danshu. Good work there by Domenico. And now Osman. Kaba. We see him back in the near side of the field for this 15 minute half on your screen. Great first touch there yes. by Domenico. Well, maybe fatigue start then. The Ravens have been able to sprinkle in some subs, as have the Caravan. But again, when you're one short, does it start to catch up to you here in this first and second extra session? Good by Darwish to win that. Ahmad. Domenico. 
Tries to bang it back, but great work here. And coming away with it, but trickled out on him, ran out of real estate. Pizarros. We're getting a great look at number 30, 39, Domenico. He's, he's been excellent since he's come on. And just about two minutes ago, it was Palmier on the ball, and he, he put himself in a position where it was going to give him, he wanted to give himself a couple of options for a pass, but a great press dispossessed Le Carabin, and it was a good couple minutes in possession for the Ravens. Dominico off the bench for Marcelo Plata. Sophomore forward. Come on. Ravens now. Piccioli. The other way to Caravan, but good play there by Ahmad. Now, Darish tried to find his mate there. That was Uzidi. Caravan now. Midway through this first extra session. Two 15 minute halves. Again, if nothing solved after that, penalty kicks will take place. Of course, we need a winner in this one. No ties on championship weekend. Pomier, Danjou, and now Seoul. Misa. Battle here coming free. Caravan take over. So again, they've been able to neutralize the man disadvantage with ball control, very much so. As Bart mentioned, and now Piccioli. Lovely ball there, sending away Buazis. Buazis, Osman. Blocked, able to keep it alive. About 25 yards out is Piccioli. Ravens looking for one here, the strike. Oh, and just wide of the left post. Off the foot of Omar Darwish. So good work here by Buazis. Darwish just missed. So able to tee it up now is Rouleau. His team in a 1-1 tie called to action with the red card to his goalkeeping mate Jordan Teaser early in the second half. Headed forward, Caravan, a man down. Looking for the Lead here and trying to come away with it. Still with it, but is he going to run out of room? Ooh, no, they're saying on. it's still in. Play on, it's still loose. What a great effort there by Pula. A great work by Darwish to you come can, back. You can hear the Raven bench saying, play the whistle. Yeah. And there was no whistle. And we saw a similar play here a couple of years ago in the <laughs> AUS women's championship at Katie and Kay Breton a similar that Kay Breton stopped playing and the ball was said to be still in and the Axeman carried out the upset against the defending champs with a goal off that play so that's what brought back to mind for me on this field as the Ravens Hamad changing the field Nice through ball, nice first touch by Buzis. Yeah, that was great. That was almost Velcroed 
to his foot. That was wonderful to see. Caravan now, it's going to be Rouleau once again. He's going to tee up his goal kick into the 12th minute of this first 15 minute session. One to one tie. First of our four quarter final matches here today at the national championship tournament. And if you're Montreal down to 10 men, probably a little less urgency in trying to, to be, you know, get that extra gear, if you will. You'll be happy just to uh, stay, stay at a comfortable pace. And if, there, if it's on, yes, turn the dial, but more important perhaps for Montreal to keep their shape. Ball lofted in. Rouleau still, now they're going to say it did go out trying to... The Montreal coaching staff were, were adamant. Dominico <laughs> couldn't keep it in and popping the hand up as the wind is picked up a little bit yes. here. In this first extra session, you can hear it in the background as well, and you can see that corner flag snapping. It's almost blowing across the field, but it's swirling a bit, so certainly something as this day and this weekend goes on, no doubt all the teams aware of it in their kind of scouting of if they haven't played here before, that the wind can be a big issue, especially as you said, Bert, oh. this time of year, is that ball right up yeah, that hit Darwish, square, I believe. Squarely, and it looks like he's, he's saying, but no, it's you have to. And I know he's saying, I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah. Oh, but smartly now in this day and age, yes. any any uh, contact with the head or face. Yes, it's, it's not 1983. It precipitates a visit from the from the training staff for the team and she's going to come out and check out Darwish. And he's saying he got it in the, regardless, saying he got it in the side of the face and the jaw area. But he'll go off to the side to get checked out. We'll have a drop ball here. These are most of the times uncontested. Garcia. Kaba, Dominico, another Raven throw in. Ravens here late. Goal will be huge at this point then you're forcing the caravan to open it up down a man. As long as it stays at even Steven. As you said, Bert, the caravan almost can, uh, can pick their spots, mm -hmm. if you will. The chance arises. Danjou. Good work there by both Danjou and Lefebvre. Was trying to get loose was Mohamed Bouzidi. Ahmed on that back line with Kafiro. One minute remaining in this first extra 15. One was tacked on, I should say. Piccioli lays it off. Shot! A rising shot. Who is ease with the attempt? Piccioli laid it off, and that initial pass by Osman was a great one to find Piccioli. And both teams, you can see, that's why these eight teams make it to the list level is depth as well. You saw the bench players from both sides, not much of a drop off. 
if any. And good performances from the likes of that last play, as I mentioned, Yusuf Osman, as you can see the crowd and some players from the other teams that certainly were just sitting in the stands. Yeah. <laughs> and there's that first 15 minutes in the bulk. Luckily here at the media tower at CBU, we're nice and toasty warm and our fans showing you the pictures and sounds that Novastream must have 800 heaters. <laughs> and they brought about 750 of them. Yes, the, uh, the so crowd nice looking. nice and toasty warm here as we do these matches for you from CBU. And that's the end of the first 15 as the teams will regroup. There's a good look at Olivier Danjou, who's put in a great, now 105 minutes mm -hmm. or more with the probably about 115 now, as he gives a pat in the back to his keeper, Jordan Teaser. Yeah, they, the, the Le Carabin look, look comfortable. I think no one, one thing, was, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, Bert. The one thing you get in the mindset, too, I think it's almost not that the word. You go down a man, you lose your starting keeper, you give up the tying goal. And it's almost, you, and the further along you get, and you're obviously, they're still in it. It's yes. anyone's match now that you get more, even more galvanized. And really, for the time they've been short, again, it hasn't been apparent. If, if we're not right. telling you or if you're not an eagle eye, Watching, uh, of course, like most of our fans and uh, voracious soccer fans would notice quickly that, hey, they only have nine nine field players on then their 10th and their keeper. As you see, David staying loose here. The Carlton keeper. Yeah, he's bo both keep, all, well, I should say all, all three keepers, exceptional. The, the depth in, the, in their net compared to the, the other, other teams that maybe haven't made it this far ha, has, been, has been noticeable. And when, you're, when your keeper knows the, the right place to be and where, where to be, it, it can really bring out more creative things in your back, back line and send you forward that much easier. And I know one t throughout the season, before the season, speaking to Dino Morley, the Capers, the host Capers head coach, that was one of the the keys he thought and they thought they addressed was depth in terms of, especially when you get to the national tournament, you have to have depth and quality depth to get mm -hmm. through this four days and win three. Obviously, tough matches to get that national championship. And like I said, we've seen it so far here with the Ravens and the Caravan. Underway here in our second 15 minute extra session. Saul lofts it in, but David will aggressively come out and grab it. And now the Ravens, they're looking to get the lead goal here. Demonico rushed the keeper and then that was Piccioli maybe trying to catch him off his line or maybe a spilled ball but that's that's not a bad idea especially as as you said and as we've seen the the wind picking up here on the field offside, offside flag goes up as racing in after that one and that was Julian Bruce mm. So just up top, I notice for the Ravens, it looks like it'll be Muhammad and Dominico. Garcia. Bapa Kafiro. Hamad, who's been rock solid as the anchor back there for Marcelo Plata. Kafiro weaving his way through. Loose in the 18 air box. And finally headed from danger. But the Ravens have it. See if they can pop it back in here. Darwish. And again, you can see on a couple of balls now that 
the wind's starting to twist things a little bit. Here's a chance, but they're going to say. Flag is up. On an offside. See your lines the, purse making the call. The ball just looks to be dipping that in that final three or four yards. So players will have to recognize that. And you see by the way that flag is blowing now in the background that it's straight into the face of the Ravens, which would explain a couple of those balls. They said just got kind of cut down. So that's something Ravens will have to be aware of his soul. Oh, and down is that. What a tough day if that's Piccioli once again. Yes, it is. Wow, he's had a, a rough go of it. And that's another one where the so, left ankle yes. took it before Soul contacted the ball. Mm -hmm. And there is a good look at Luca Piccioli. And that's that's a heavy a heavy challenge. And the Carlton bench looking for a yellow card. But to be to be fair to so we've we've been on the side it seems all afternoon. He did he did arrive at, at the same time with the ball. Yes, he was uh, you know a little bit behind and clearly a foul. But he's conceded so few if maybe one other one. So it's not like it's one, two, three, you're in the book. So he basically, he had it to give and he took it. Piccioli's gonna need the ice bath. Yes. After this one, nine goals in the season, fourth leading scorer in U Sports. One of the leaders of this OUA champion Raven side. And there he is again. He gets right back into the fray. Dominico getting the head on it, but softly was Mohamed Muzidi. Now chance for Rouleau that gets things started here. Rouleau skyward. Saul. Headed forward and now coming out is David. David will bowl it out for some room here for Garcia. Garcia skyward. Settling in here about five minutes into our second Extra session here, tied at one. Montreal took the lead in the first half on a goal by their captain, Pamie. The tying marker coming early in the second from Danny Asaf. And that's where we stand here in our second 15 minute overtime half. Of course, we'll go to penalty kicks from there if nothing is solved. But certainly either team would like to get out of here before you leave it in the hands of the penalty kick gods, if you will. You Ravens now. Certainly if you're the caravan, after now pretty much 60 minutes, it'll be invested in playing with a player down. They don't want to give mm -hmm. up one now. They're pretty galvanized. Going down there, and their bench wanted a call. It's the coaching staff incensed. Julian Bruce caused the turnover and then was going to try to chase it down. Garcia now, 22 minutes in. Hamid. Kafiro. And the 
Ravens muster something up here to test Rulal. But there again is Saul. Saul against two defenders. Piccioli, Piccioli goes down right back up. And he got tangled up there with Ben Musa. Osmond, who's given some great minutes here to the Ravens. Up forward, headed away. Great work again by Danju. It's been rock solid in the back for the Carabin. Ravens now. Territorial control here in the second 15 minutes, but they haven't been able to translate it into any scoring opportunity. And it gets to the point now where you, if you have someone that's one of your penalty takers, you'll, you'll want to get him on about now to perhaps get him a couple of touches on the ball and get sort of in the mood, if you will, of the game. Another booking there, and I think it was to the Caravan coach, Pat Raimondo, our U Sports Coach of the Year. There was one to the bench previously, two of the Caravan. Hamad, battle there, squirts out. Bruce chasing after, curling that ball. Offside. And they're gonna say offside. Yes. Is the call Danjou. Once it gets started here. Rouleau. Nice ball along the deck. Finding Bambusa. Just see Yoseki getting ready. He's got the, the bib on. He'll be on momentarily. Number 11 in white. As you said, Bartins now start to to navigate the possibility of penalty kicks. So you want your players on that you're playing to have as part of that five player mix. Great read by Katsarus Ross, excuse me. Oh, and now a break, a little bit of room. Oh, a nice move there, trying to, oh, feather it over, but no one was on the far post. Bruce has it now. That was Chimil. And there's the run by Poulan, who's been a force throughout. And just ran out of an angle for a shot. Think of nothing else, who's looking for maybe David to have to play and get a spill. Yes. Yes. But the next, the next best thing. Corner kick. And wow, what a finish this would be of the Caravan. The sixth seed were upset in the RSEQ championship match against QQTR. First place all season. Can they pull this one out of the fire? It's headed out, but they'll try it again. That was Osman. Late in this one. Now to the far post, it's loose. Off his long, oh. it took a Raven bounce right wow. into the chest and belly of David. Wow, you talk about a fortuitous bounce. Because David was on the ground at the top of the box and it was open and it ended up right to him. A great initial header. Of course, a wonderful strike. And David just couldn't get to it. There's the first header. Look how close Saul was. We didn't see who cleared it off the line, but how it no. ended up, David didn't even have to move. No, and Vartas is beside himself. How did he not score? But on we go. Kafiro. 
Do the Ravens have something? There by Mortas, who had that big chance against Bruce. So again, the Good for most play. of this second 15 minutes, the Ravens look to have the pressure and the zone possession. Now the caravan in these last couple of minutes, again, a player short. Couldn't they pull it off? Be Paul Mortas. Now with the throw in. Being watched by Dominico. Mortas. Oh, great work there by Piccioli. And then he drew the foul. Yes. Oh, and coming up gingerly just as we're watching yes. come up the field was and, Dominico. And he was down earlier. And that time as well it was untouched, but and this time he was just coming up the the sideline to get into the offensive play and the left ankle looks like Yeah, and I was just I was just going to say not in the area where where it could be a cramp. So again, if you're just joining us, we're in our second 15 minute overtime session in our first quarter final. It's tied at one, the sixth ranked Montreal Caravan, third ranked Carlton Ravens. Caravan opened the scoring in the first half on a goal by Quinton Pomie, the captain. Tied in the second half and there he is coming back on. I assume he's gonna be one of yes. the penalty kickers. If we get to that point, that's Danny Asaf for the Ravens who tied it at one. And that came after a red card to Jordan Teaser, the keeper for Morial. So the Caravan for most of the second half, these two 15 minute overtime halves have been a player short. And Bruce with a heavy challenge and that's a straight booking. The yellow card for Bruce as he goes back to Check on his Carlton opponent. Didn't pick up the number who went down. It's Garcia, the Gar captain. Garcia. As we just saw the injury to Dominico. So two minutes put up by so the fourth official. Just a reminder of the rest of our day here, coming up our second quarter final. Was, was scheduled for 1.30 Atlantic time, 12.30 Eastern. Now with this one going long, the schedule will be pushed back a bit, but our next match is throughout today. Coming up the number two seed, St. FX x -Men against the number seven seed in can the west runner up ubc thunderbirds and then at 4 p.m the host team the Cape breton university capers the fifth seed will go up against the uqtr patriot the rscq champions and now the caravan look to answer and then our nightcap will be the york lions that's a straight yellow versus the Mount Royal Cougars, the number one seed and the Canada West champions. Here's the replay of that one. So Palmeo plays that out, Bruce. Good check. Took the hip check yes. from, <laughs> it was Garcia. So maybe, I don't know if it was in his mind. I know he's trying to stop the play, but that's the- I don't know how it two could guys, be, Yeah, how <laughs> maybe it wasn't a Let's bit of playback. Honest, yeah. playback for the previous play where Bruce took Garcia down here, but the, what it does is give the caravan from distance a free kick here, and you know, could be a spill, could be a, we've seen them from this distance before, certainly a header. If a guy like Sol could get up the ladder. And we'll watch for the likes of Lefebvre off a second or third phase. But it will not get to that point. No, and it didn't, certainly not. Well, Pamie, you can see Pamie on that run there. He's got a little hitch in his giddy up. 
So he's come up a little gingerly. So the Ravens, do they have one more push here with the man advantage? It soon may not matter if it comes to penalty kicks. Can they get it home here, weather this storm of essentially over 60 minutes, almost 70 minutes of being a player short? And we are going to penalty kicks here in our first quarter final. So the keepers, the shooters will take center stage here in Sydney. As their referee there, Ryan Schwenger. Who I thought overall, Bert, certainly when you don't say the name too much right. and you don't talk about the officials in any sport, that's when they've done a good job and I think all around, well done, let the teams play. It was physical, lots of skill. Anything you can want in our first quarter final, again in a rematch of the 2021 National Championship gold medal game where the Caravan won their second National Championship. The Ravens still looking for their first. Trying to get a little bit from their men's and women's basketball team maybe to rub off as we have the coin flip, and there's always a debate. I know when we're doing the AUS matchups, I asked Ian King, longtime coach, technical director here for K. Breton uh, Soccer Club, also works with the Capers, what he preferred in terms of shoot first, shoot last. And he uh, opted for the shoot first. He thought you yes. want to put the pressure on the other team right away and get that first goal. Yes, I, I would agree with that. You just have that much less to think about when you're when you're shooting first. But so yes, uh, quite the 120 minutes of football here to start us off. The, the other teams have quite the quite the act to follow. Two superb teams. Wow, and the caravan, yes. like I say, at this level yes. to go down a man for that length of time. Yes. And again, it never, it's not like they had to just sit back and kind of take punches and do the rope-a-dope right. to stay in it. It's not like the Ravens were all over them after they went mm -hmm. up a man far from that. And it stayed pretty even. Yes, uh, sen sensational performances all around. We get a good look at number eight. Piccioli. And no doubt he'll be one of the shooters, as will mm -hmm. Asaf, as he gives a pat in the back yes. to his keeper, Tyler Dave. And we talked about Olivier Rouleau coming in after his mate, Jordan yes. Teaser, got the red card. Well, my heavens, he's going to get tested. And then some now, as he'll have to go between the pipes for the shootout here, or the penalty kicks, pardon me. Yes, and as we've mentioned, what a tough spot for a keeper to come in to face a Piccioli free kick, and you've got Asaf barreling down on you. And it's not like the keeper's giving away the free kick, so to say, oh, well, we'll blame him because he dropped him. No, not at all. And he, he made a, a great save on a, on a subsequent free kick, and he's been... He's been he's been excellent, and again, composure in the in the pipes. That's what you want, and he's he's provided that for his his players. Looks like our first shooter is going to be Kareem Saul for the Caravan. So one on one against Tyler David. And Im imagine 10, 10, 15 years ago, a center back being first up, but a. As mentioned, a great all-around footballer. Our first shooter, Saul, the left footer. Over it, shoots. Oh, David with a sensational stop. He anticipated correctly, and that was a hard low shot headed for the corner, and Saul dejected. And the first shot fired, so to speak, by David. And now his team 
could take the advantage if Rafael Garcia can beat Rouleau. So the pressure on Rouleau now. Again, the backup keeper who came in in the second half. Garcia makes no mistake. Tucks it in. Side the right post to top, make it one to nothing. And now he's going to have a little chat with his keeper, David. So now advantage Carlton as they try to punch their ticket to the semifinal. Coming up to shoot, it's going to be the captain. Who else would you want if you're Le Carabin? Quinton Pamie. There you have a good look at him. The captain of the caravan. Does David have another big save under his hat? Pamie strikes it and scores. Made it look easy. Yes, cool as you like. To tie it at one. So now, can Rouleau even things up and keep it at one apiece after two shooters? But... He's going to be tested here against the man who scored against him in the second half, Danny Asaf. To tie it up. Or I'm sorry, to take the... Oh, and a big save by Rouleau. to keep it at a one-to-one -one tie after two shooters. He guessed right. And made a diving stop. And sometimes when you dive, it can go, it can go almost underneath you. So once again, Rouleau, 10 out of 10. Paul Mortas, who had that big chance lead off the header. Off the free kick to challenge David. One to one. Two shooters in the books for each side. More toss. Oh, classy strike. And he gives the Caravan a two to one lead after their third shooter. And now the man you want if you're the Carlton Ravens. Luca Piccioli needs it here to tie it. As he'll tee it up against Rouleau. Rouleau just made a big save on Asaf. Piccioli, shot. Oh, oh and he just squeezed it home. In. Rouleau almost made the big yes. save. Two apiece after three shooters aside. And it looks like it's gonna be Bruce, Julian Bruce for Le Carabin. He'll take the slow walk up the challenge. David who's tell trying to keep himself loose. Bruce for the lead for Le Carabin. Fourth shooter. Hesitation and then oh. topped it in like there was no one in the net. Bruce. If you're doing that, you, you better score. And he did. To make it three to two for Caravan. The little fake. And David gave away what way he was leaning. And now for the tie. Yuseki gives the ball a little kiss for luck. To tie it at three after four shooters, Yuseki. Rouleau. Oh, and another strike. calm, cool, collected strike there by Yuseki. And it's three to three on our fifth shooter. David. And coming in, another star, this one for Le Caravan, Adam Ben Musa. The quality of some of these goals. 
all of these goals, really. Now Ben Musa. This will really put the caravan back in the driver's seat and put the pressure on the Ravens. Ben Musa, the left footer, and David makes a sensational stop. So, here we are, folks. Tarek Hamad. We start with a center back. Could we finish? And this was the man a that back. rock solid for the Ravens all day. Will he be the scoring hero in penalty kicks against Rouleau, who has to try to keep it alive? It's on his toe. Hamad shoots, and he missed. I don't know if Rouleau got a piece, but it looked like I think it, it might have grazed the, the bar. Missed. But wow. We'll get another look. That's the first shooter that I think he just missed. Yes. And it's three to three now, so one for one. Caravan, up the shoot. What a way to start this national championship tournament. Poulin, tail Poulin. Can he give the Caravan the lead again? And he does, made it look easy just like many of the rest. Yes, he just ripped that in. So can the backup keeper for the Montreal Caravan, he'll go up against Kevin Kaba. The game on his foot, the hands and body and whatever other parts, Rouleau has to use to keep it out. Can the Caravan, a man short for most of this match, win it? Kaba ties it. Poise personified. That's six shooters, shooters, pardon me, a piece. Will it be maybe lucky seven for one side here? The seventh Caravan shooter. It's going to be, again, another of the back line guys, Donju who's been great throughout this one. He can put his team back in the lead. David dances. Both teams anxious. And again, it's Olivier Danjou. Comes up on it. Danjou, oh, oh. Roofed it like butter. That's class. And again, the pressure back squarely on the Ravens, here it is, Danjou. Easy as pie, or at least he made it look that way, roofing it. And that's the first of all these shots that someone went top shelf. And yes, now Youssef Osman. Higher percentage to shoot, to shoot low, but such is the, the calmness and the skill of Danjou. He put that away with ease. Again, Rouleau. Can he be the hero? Usman, Rulo! The backup keeper has punched the Caravan's ticket to the national semifinal. And the excitement, the shorthanded Caravan played most of the second half. And there they come at the camera. <laughs> and just a smile as wide as the St. Lawrence, Corey. Olivier What a great Rouleau. job. The hero for the caravan. He came in after his mate, Jordan Teaser, got a red card. And here he is on that last shot from Osman. Thought right, dove right, and made the quarterfinal winning save for a dramatic finish. Two to one in penalty kicks, and here it is again. Olivier Rouleau, the hero. And Le Caravan de Montréal move on to tomorrow's semifinal round. The OUA champs, the third seed, will move into the consolation bracket. So our first upset in terms of seedings in our first quarter final, as the Caravan now will have to get plenty of rest, plenty of treatment after that physical battle. And there they are. 
storming Olivier Rouleau as the caravan celebrate the two to one victory in penalty kicks. And Coach Raimondo looked more relieved than thrilled. The players rightfully ecstatic. And as you check the Carlton Ravens, the OUA champs, third seed, the Caravan, lost a heartbreaker in the RSEQ championship to UQTR, but we're able to get here as the conference's runner up. And a man short, lost their starting keeper, and what a performance by Olivier Rouleau as he helps his team move on to the national semifinal. And with a two to one victory in penalty kicks. And Mor Morial, number one for two weeks. And number two, the, re the rest of the way, we'll see the, the, the team rank number one for most of the year. UBC up next against St. Avex. But Morial, 120 minutes later, and a, perhaps a, a, a bit shorter nails as well for some of the family and friends tuning in for Le Carabin. So again, the final score, Le Carabin de Montréal two, the Carlton Ravens one. Coming up our second quarter final, can we top this one? If we do, we're in for quite a day. The second of our four quarter finals coming up. It looks more now with the length of this one at about 2.30 Atlantic time, 1.30 Eastern. And for our friends that'll be involved out west, the UBC Thunderbirds, about 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. So coming up, Tyler Davids, the player of the match, just to let you know, for Nike, for the Ravens. Kareem Saul, the player, night player of the game for the Caravan. So again, coming up our next matchup in about a half hour featuring the number seven seed, UBC Thunderbirds, and the number two seed, St. FX X-Men. We'll step aside for a minute on CBC. Again, the final score in our first 2023 Proto Case U Sports Men's Soccer quarterfinal, Le Caravan de Montreal two, the Carlton Ravens one. 